It's revolutionary. It's going to stir up the world. It's the new washer from Maytag with the world's first load-sensing agitator. It eats dirt without chewing up your clothes. Give it a spin. Buy now and get $100 in extra features. Got a case of the baseball playoff blues? At Banner, UPN's got the cure. Everything's back to normal. All aboard for Network Television's most explosive action series. On the next Sentinel, a mafia hit squad is after a mob informant. You'd find me and you'd kill me, I guarantee it. On a high-speed train, two cops are caught in a squeeze play. Drop your weapon! Don't shoot! Spend an hour in the strike zone. I have to shoot somebody. The Sentinel. Wednesday at 8 on UPN 33. Thanks for watching the kids. That's four hours at five dollars. No, that was my weekend rate. Weeknights and more. I started at six, my rate still went down to seven, and the baby spit up. That's extra. Sound like your long distance company? And another thing. Look at your phone bill. The friend you called wasn't in your circle. You weren't true to your calling plan, and the dime didn't become a dime until after seven. That's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. 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 Now you get one flat rate all the time. Call 9X Long Distance and it's 15 cents a minute to anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's easy. Spend at least $10 a month on long distance and it's 15 cents to anywhere in the U.S., anytime. See, 9X handles the busiest region in the country, New York and New England. They know how to make it simple. Call now. You get three hours of long distance free. That's an hour each month for the first three months. You weren't a friend or family. That's extra, too. No. Make it simple. Make the call. 1-800-979-5125. Infection-causing bacteria can live almost anywhere. That's why every cut... Ouch! Mommy! ...needs Neosporin. At the microscopic level, Neosporin kills a broad spectrum of hundreds of bacterial strains, more than many other topical antibiotics. Also, adding Neosporin to a bandage helps cuts heal four days faster than a bandage alone. Help end the threat of infection. Heal cuts faster with Neosporin. And for painful cuts, try Neosporin Plus. It was a huge idea. He'd be on time, and the pants would get dry. Sometimes he thought, I'm so smart, it's scary. Sir, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. It's today's cool taste. Sirt's Cool Mint Drops. Two mints in one. Cool mint taste, plus an active breath-freshening ingredient. Retsin. Treat your breath to Cool Mint Drops, only from Sirt's. Sure has his happy-go-lucky game face on today, does he? As is that of pilot Jack Wilde. Does he have another kind? <laughs> no spacewalks are scheduled for this 10-day flight, the sixth shuttle flight this year, and the second for Columbia, the fleet's oldest orbiter. Uncle Norton's retiring. Yeah, I heard that. 20 years with the cave. Actually, I think it's more like 25. I remember him doing the Skylab missions when I was a kid. I was just in his broadcast with. This is Steve, Steve Norton, Norton from the Cape. the Cape. Roger and out. Now, I'm sure most of you know that Alan Shepard was the first American to launch into space. Well, that was 35 years ago. And this... Wow. ...was the launch and mission control center where they sent him up from. Now, Shepard had a smooth flight, but the next guy wasn't so lucky. 
When Gus Grissom's Liberty Bell 7 splashed down into the ocean, the impact caused a leak in the capsule. Well, Gus was able to swim to safety, but they lost the capsule. It wasn't a leak. What was that? It wasn't a leak. The explosive bolts on the emergency hatch blew open. <laughs> I stand corrected. Um, you're right, it was the emergency hatch. Now, after Mercury, NASA began the two-man Gemini program. Now, remember the Titan II missile we saw at the visitor center today? Well, NASA began using Titans for Gemini because the Atlas rocket, which was used for all the Mercury missions, just, it just didn't have the kind of power they needed. They didn't use Atlas for all the Mercury missions, just the orbital ones. They used redstones to get the first guys up. You're an astronaut candidate? That's right. NASA sure has lowered its standards. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Demand data encoded. Columbia, this is launch control. Radio check, over. We've got you five by five. Columbia, this is mission control. Uh, Roger control. Loud and clear. Columbia, radio board advisory check. Roger that. Check is good. Roger. Access high speed downloading. Now, when they used to launch from down here, this whole coastline was filled with gantries. Tony, stop. Thank you. Now, some of the old gantries are still standing. The one on the left, that's number 12. And on the right, 13. That's 13? That's what the Air Force told me. Where's 14? Well, unless I'm wrong, Tony, it should be right next to 13. It's just not there anymore. All right, people, we want to get back to the viewing site and plenty of time for the launch, so let's load up, and uh, maybe next time I get a chance to be your teacher. It'll be from space. Can't wait for that. Ooh. All right, let's go. What's the problem here? Nothing. And you've got a lot to learn about how to talk to people. And you've got a lot to learn about being an astronaut. When we get back to the viewing site, we're going to give your folks a call. You're going home. But I'll miss the lunch. Yes, you will. Where are we? Mean? The launch countdown. Uh, T, two hours, seven minutes, and counting. Okay. Always know what the count is. The launch is the most dramatic part of any space flight. Never cheat your audience out of the thrill of the buildup. All right. Okay, sports is ending. Marlins won. Ah. Okay. Okay, five, four, three. Two. Looks like those Marlins have a nose for the pennant. We're at T minus two hours and seven minutes before the scheduled liftoff of Columbia. But first, I'd like to take a moment and introduce a new face to you, one which will be replacing me very soon. This is Emily Mayhew, KVOA in Tucson, Arizona. Welcome aboard, Emily. Thank you, Steve. Got big shoes to fill. 
you'll be filling them very well. The countdown is proceeding as scheduled, so stay with us for continued live coverage from Kennedy Space Center. Control, Columbia. Cabin vent valve closed. Leak checks complete. Roger, Columbia. We see it. Roger that. Bearing launch code breaker. Control, do we have an update on landing weather for aboard profiles? Roger. Looks like weather is a go for return to launch site aboard or abort once around. Roger that. RTLS and AOA good. Okay, everyone, let's stay together today. Take those off. There's going to be a lot of people here, all right? Going through their routine pre-launch check, we are now T-minus 45 minutes and counting. Uh, anybody seen Tony? Anybody else on the bus, Joe? Unless they're hiding behind the seats. Had them do that before. Let's go, Tony. Tony? Right over there. Now that's pad 39A. Now, did they build that for the space shuttle? No, no. Matter of fact, uh, Apollo 13 went off from there. Oh, 1970. Right. I was there. Uh, excuse me, Steve. Uh, I need you for an update. See you back. Everybody was on the bus. I counted everyone. Now, the kids say that he was sitting in the last row by himself, so he must have snuck out the window. How many times did you stop before you got to the viewing site? Uh, I don't know, three, four times along Phillips Parkway. You know, just to point some things out. Last one was near Complex 41. It's awfully damn close to the pad. Well, it's not a restricted area. It's too damn close. Get in here. That kid got off at 41. He's right next to the blast danger. I know. We were only there for a second. They wanted to see the shuttle. Why the hell did he get off? There's a problem, kid, and I... Yeah, Bullocker, get me the launch director, please. Yeah, I know we're in the middle of a launch. Get me Jim. I told him I was going to send him home, and he wouldn't be able to see the launch. Yeah, Jim, Bull. We're in the automatic hold, right? Don't release it. It's the only one out there. And here it comes. The only compact pickup to offer a third door. Okay, folks. Show's over. Chevy S10, like a rock. It's today's cool taste. Certs Cool Mint Drops. Two mints in one. Cool mint taste, plus an active breath freshening ingredient. Retson. Treat your breath to Cool Mint Drops, only from Certs. There's a smile in every Hershey bar. Here, honey, drink your orange juice. There you go. Finally, in health news, the American Cancer Society reports that along with a healthy diet, drinking more Florida orange juice may actually reduce your risk of some cancers. Hey, how about that? Well, that's news up to the minute. Updates on the quarter hour. It's now 23 minutes past. Whenever you buy Florida orange juice, we make a donation to the American Cancer Society. 
There's something about an Eggo waffle that sticks with you. The warm toastiness. The reassurance of seven vitamins and iron. Nice to have in a morning like this. It's cold out there. Don't let them go without an Eggo. Pick up the count. Control, we notice we're still in hold. What's going on? Uh, yes, Columbia. We got an unplanned hold situation at this moment. You care to let the crew in on it? It appears we got a lost kid somewhere out there. A lost kid? Affirmative. <laughs> There's a chance he wandered into the BDA. Roger, Control. We'll keep you posted. How does a kid get within three and a half miles of us? I don't know. Sure don't want to be him when they light the fuse. Security's getting search teams out. Choppers are already in the air. There's a lot of ground to cover. I'm going down the security lab to help find them. I don't want you to be seen. I don't want you to be heard. Someone from public affairs will take care of the other kids. I want you to go home. I want you to lay low. I'll call you if anything happens. All right. You want me to do it or do you? He is one of yours. Do what? The press conference. Come on. Press conference? Andrew, we don't know what we have here. We're holding a launch because there's a boy in the BDA. We don't know that. He could be miles away. No, Andrew, no press conference. Not now. It is better to be up front from the beginning than if we talk. Do you know what'll happen if the press gets a hold of this? I can see the headlines now. Ascan teacher loses kid, launch held. What do you think that's gonna do for his career? Bull, I... He was selected out of 10,000 applicants. Half of his training is completed. At least give him a chance. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Candidate Peter Engel. What do you know about him? School teacher. I hear he subs at one of the local schools. What would he have to do with the launch? Nothing. He's not an astronaut. You heard about the hole? Yeah. Yeah. What I haven't heard is why. It's procedural. One of the automatic holes. Automatic? Standard operating procedure. You see, they stop the clock countdown. So that the launching operators and programmers have time to catch up. I know, I know. I also know that all automatic holds are scheduled to last exactly 10 minutes only, and this one has lasted 13 and a half. A hold is a hold is a hold. A hold is either routine or not. I mean, aren't you curious? Look, that rocket is going nowhere until they start that clock ticking again. When they're ready, they'll tell us what the deal is, not before. Get used to it. Cabin pressure. Leak check would have revealed that. I'm you alignment? Maybe. Or the GPC could be glitching. Or the software in the GPC. The hold's definitely been extended. They gotta be getting a little bit concerned. Except for Riles. You know how procedural he is. Nothing phases him during launch. I jinxed us. What? Should have had that car towed. You want to explain that, Jack? I'm number 19. It's my lucky number. Every sport I played from Little League on all the way up through college, I wore number 19. 
My first mission, I pulled into the crew parking lot, spotted a space mark 19. Parked in there every launch day. <sighs> Till yesterday, damn Honda was parked in it. That's ridiculous. Fox. I wear the same ones on every mission. My wife misplaced them once. <laughs> Almost caused a divorce. <laughs> I bet. What? The odor? <laughs> she just thought they needed a wash. <laughs> oh, hell. <sighs> Was the Honda blue? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was. It's mine. the Baxter residence? Uh-huh. I'm Peter Engel, one of Tony's teachers. Hmm. Must be in big trouble this time. Usually they call me down to the school. Here's father? Yeah. <sighs> Tony was on a tour of the Kennedy Space Center with his class I was leading. After we boarded the bus, he snuck out the window and ran off. As far as we know, it's not in any danger, but they, they are holding the shuttle once as a precaution. They're holding the shuttle because of Tony. I was wondering if you had any idea where he might have gone. I wouldn't have a clue. I do my best. Sure you do. I figure she's run off there. Kid spends all his time playing astronaut. See for yourself. Center, huh? He'd spend his whole life there if he could. Thank you for your help, Mr. Baxter. We'll call you when we find him. Glenn fanatic. He, he wore a mirror right on his chest. Look, look. Just like the mirror Glenn's wearing in this picture, I think I know where he might be. What gantry did Friendship 7 launch from? 13 or 14? I don't know. All right, thank you. Bernshaw! Chris, it's Peter. Chris, I need some help. Now, um, John Glenn's Friendship 7, what pad did it launch from? Uh, hang on. Hey, everybody! 
Uh, John Glenn, French ship seven. Anybody know which pad it launched from? They don't have a clue. Yeah, okay, great. Is anybody there who knows anything? Zeke! Yeah. Oh, man. You. Zeke speaking. Zeke, it's Peter. Hey, man, what pad did Friendship 7 launch from? 14 on the Cape side. I think it's torn down now, though. Why? 14, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. of Peru. This cop learned to use his senses like weapons. Now he's going back. And I'll parachute in. Parachute? Even deeper into the heart of darkness. Who are you? To find himself and the animal inside him. If I go forward, I'll die. An animal he'll have to unleash to save his friends from ruthless drug lords. I'm afraid my dad might be already dead. But you gotta stay strong. On another explosive episode of The Sentinel. Wednesday at 8 on UPN 33. If you need a Visa credit card, we have a special offer just for you. We guarantee to give you a credit card with no security deposit required, regardless of your past credit history. Almost everyone will be approved for a Visa card, even if you've been turned down before. If you meet our minimum requirements, your approval is guaranteed. Our offer is for an unsecured credit card. This means that you're not required to send in a security deposit. Don't miss this limited offer to obtain a Visa card with no security deposit. Call our number now. An application will be sent to you immediately. Can you guess which cereal will now carry the American Heart Association symbol? The answer shouldn't surprise you. It's Cheerios. A diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol, including Cheerios, may help reduce the risk of heart disease. This Cheerios, made from whole grain oats, is also a good source of fiber. And those delicious O's are low in fat and saturated fat with no cholesterol. No wonder Cheerios carries the American Heart Association symbol. One and only when you're looking for that ooh, I feel, come to Mattress Giant. When you want that ooh, I deal, we've got the best price for that ooh, I bet. It's only at Mattress Giant. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Only at Mattress Giant. Ooh, ah. Only at Mattress Giant. Infection-causing bacteria can live almost anywhere. That's why every cut... Ouch! Mommy! ...needs Neosporin. At the microscopic level, Neosporin kills a broad spectrum of hundreds of bacterial strains, more than many other topical antibiotics. Also, adding Neosporin to a bandage helps cuts heal four days faster than a bandage alone. Help end the threat of infection. Heal cuts faster with Neosporin. And for painful cuts, try Neosporin Plus. The Cape is brought to you in part by Campbell's Home Cooking, the taste you've been looking for. Hey, looks like you're eating potato soup, too. Actually, it's potato with roasted garlic. Roasted garlic? Looks better than mine. Warm up to a new taste. Campbell's Home Cooking new potato with roasted garlic soup. Are those chives? Uh-huh. Flavorful potatoes, select herbs and spices, blend to create a taste you only get from home cooking. Like a taste? Sure. Honey, could you get me a bowl of home cooking for our neighbor? Campbell's Home Cooking, the taste you've been looking for. Is this how you start your day? It's okay. Need a little pick-me-up? Aw. Look, perfect nutrition is for perfect people. Then we don't know any. That's why there's Boost, the delicious shake that's got 25 vitamins and minerals with carbohydrates and protein instead of caffeine for real energy that lasts. So if your day isn't 100% nutritious, maybe it's time for a Boost. Boost, the perfect snack 
for imperfect people. Should we go? Go? Where are we gonna go? We haven't seen the shuttle launch yet. Should we have dessert? Dessert? All right, let me get the menu. It's really is exciting. We are now over an hour into an extended hole that NASA is describing as a technical check. The astronauts have been strapped into their seats for almost four hours now. With limited mobility and really nothing to do, we can only wonder what must be weighing on their minds right now. Marsha, Jan, Cindy, Greg, Peter, Billy. Uh, uh, Bobby. Oh, yes, Bobby. Sorry. Okay, I got one for you. Gilligan's first name. Nice try. Trick question. Little buddy didn't have a first name. You're hey, good. That, that's got to be, without a doubt, the dumbest show ever made. Sam, you want to know what my favorite episode was? No, wait, wait. Let me guess. Uh, the one where they think they're going to get rescued, but don't. It was a fantasy. Oh, yeah, they're leaving on a three-hour tour with enough clothes for five years. Uh, let me tell you, what sunk the SS Minnow was the weight of the luggage. All right, Riles, when you were a kid, what shows did you watch? The intelligent one. Oh, yeah, like what? Uh, Mission Impossible. Six million dollar man. I was uh, particularly fond of Wonder Woman. <laughs> and the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> that was a good show. Cerebral approach, huh? <laughs> they had fast cars. <laughs> Real fast cars. Had 14, friendship 7. February 20th, 1962. Had a blinking high level light on the locks taken. False reading. First man to see the sunset over 100 miles above the Earth. First American to see the sunset from 100 miles up. He saw thousands of tiny, bright yellow green particles outside the capsule window. Said they were amazing. Then everything started to fall apart. The heat shield. Loose. They left the retro pack in place. He had to take over the re-entry from the autopilot. One wrong move, and the capsule burns up with him inside. Why aren't you back at Kennedy watching the launch? Do they make you take some astronaut quiz or something to get past the gates? No, they just found out I was scared of heights. Right now, we've got a media lockdown, but it's anybody's guess how long that'll last. Yeah, Air Force security is spearheading the search on the Cape side anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll keep you updated. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Oh, I'm afraid I'm kind of new at this, so until I gain a little experience, I'm gonna need some help. Things are a little hectic right now, but I'd be happy to help you a little later on if... Peter Engel. Yeah. What about him? 
Well, he took a busload of kids on a field trip to Cape Canaveral Air Station this morning. Yes, uh, he's a teacher. We encourage our ASCANs to get involved in the community. You know what school it was? Um, I don't, actually. Peter's involved with a lot of different schools in the district. Yeah. Um, hang on, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. I don't know. Anything? No, nothing yet. Well, I got something that'll really make your day. Emily Mayhew, the new reporter from Channel 12. Somehow she's on to Peter. How? I don't have a clue. She knew about the class tour. She wanted to know what school the kids were from. What'd you tell her? I put her off, but she's young and eager and doesn't exactly seem like the type who's gonna give up easily, if you know what I mean. I gotta warn Peter. I just sent him home. I told him to stay away. They're gonna scrub the launch. You know as well as I do that there is no way launch control is gonna let them sit up there for more than four and a half hours. And we've already passed four. Oh, damn. Where the hell is Peter? This isn't a game anymore, okay? This is dangerous. Leave me alone. Listen, however you got down there, I just want you to stand up slowly, okay? And climb back to me. said you might spend the rest of your life out here. Not exactly John Glenn, is he? Duh. Does he hit you? No, he's just a loser. Has he always been a loser? You ask a lot of questions. I hope he'd become less stupid that way. He was kind of okay before he got laid off. We used to go fishing and stuff. It's all right. I mean, I don't remember anything about my father. Couldn't even tell you if he was a loser. It doesn't even make any sense. No. Didn't to me either. You know, we had this, this big house and great yard, a pool, family pictures all over the place. Everybody thought we had a perfect family. It wasn't a family. Nobody talked about anything. I can remember wanting my dad to yell at me for something. Anything. I mean, something I didn't even do. Just so I'd know that he knew I existed. Tony, I think you're mad at your dad because he's not the way he used to be. Even if he wasn't John Glenn. You can get better, Tony. Trust me, I know. You just gotta hang in there. It's 
got to find a way to keep on climbing. That's what John Glenn always said. I know. We can talk about this some more if you want. You want to do that, Tony? Come on. Switch my hand. never seen this in a cough drop before. Observe the patented new formula. Note the feeling that reaches higher and penetrates deeper than ever. Our most soothing feeling of relief ever. It's called advanced vapor action. Now you know just what to look for. New improved halls. More power to soothe. City Furniture has the lowest prices on dining room furniture. For just $5.99, you'll find a big selection of styles and finishes, from traditional chairing to dramatic contemporary designs. Plus, you'll enjoy no payments for eight months, no finance charges, and no down payment with approved credit. Thanks for watching the kids. That's four hours at five dollars. No, that was my weekend rate. Weeknights are more. I started at six, my rate still went down to seven, and the baby spit up. That's extra. Sound like your long distance company? And another thing. Look at your phone bill. The friend you called wasn't in your circle. You weren't true to your calling plan, and the dime didn't become a dime until after seven. That's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. 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 Now you get one flat rate all the time. Call 9X Long Distance and it's 15 cents a minute to anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's easy. Spend at least $10 a month on long distance and it's 15 cents to anywhere in the U.S., anytime. See, 9X handles the busiest region in the country, New York and New England. They know how to make it simple. Call now. You get three hours of long distance free. That's an hour each month for the first three months. If you weren't a friend or family, that's extra, too. No. Make it simple. Make the call. 1-800-979-5125. He talks like you. Am I interrupting anything? He thinks like you. Is this possible? He's devious like you. Return my crew. Not sure how. But is he more powerful than Q? We're dealing here with the most dangerous man in the continuum. There's no two ways about it. The next Star Trek Voyager is an hour Q will believe. You can't hide from me. And you can't take me by force. And neither will you. What the hell is going on? Star Trek Voyager. Wednesday at 9 on UPN 33. Bacteria that cause infection can live almost anywhere. Ow! That's why every cut needs Neosporin. At the microscopic level, Neosporin kills a broad spectrum of hundreds of bacterial strains, more than many other topical antibiotics. Also, adding Neosporin to a bandage helps cuts heal four days faster than a bandage alone. Help end the threat of infection. Heal cuts faster with Neosporin. And for painful cuts, try Maximum Strength Neosporin Plus. Morning number three. Smoke free. Nice going, Nicoderm CQ. Doing fine with no help, thanks. You want to cheat? No. Come on, just one. No. I hate how calm you are. That's the CQ. Only Nicoderm CQ starts you off with the highest level of medicine. A 24-hour stream that's still with you when you wake up. It helps calm the cravings. You'll see. Nicoderm CQ. The power to calm, the power to comfort, the power to quit successfully. And at the Kennedy Space Center, the third shuttle mission this year has been held by an unusually long delay in the launch sequence. And for the latest update on the situation, here once again is Steve Norton live from the Kennedy Space Center. Four hours, 35 minutes. That's how long the astronauts of Columbia have been on that launch pad. As they keep hoping that the hole will be lifted, the tension in that orbiter must be mounting by the moment. Uh, uh, 
Columbia. We're picking up an anomalous sound. Did you stir the O2 tanks? Uh, negative control. I think what you're picking up is uh, Commander Blake. Our general manager called to warn me that they're going with the story. Based on what? Based on the truth, Paul. Hang on, Tony. I'm going to come over and get you. Uh, Tony. I don't think I can hold my weight. Now, listen to me. Look at me. What I want you to do is I want you to reach for my hand. I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Tony, I know how you feel. I hate being in high places. Oh, I'm really lucked out when they got you. Now, that's old Tony we know and love. Now, get your smart ass over here. I said I can't! Air personality or a news reporter? I take my job very seriously. Good. Well, that means that you'll want to have all the facts. How long have you wanted to be a reporter? Look, this isn't about what, six months, a year. I put in ten years in local markets before I was even allowed in a studio, making coffee, running copies, and that was after six years studying journalism. Then you'll understand what it's like when the door finally cracks open. Peter Engel has very little in common with Alan Shepard or Buzz Aldrin. What they do share is the dream. I'm just trying to be a good reporter. Peter Engel made a mistake that anyone could have made. Now, you can run your story. The shuttle still sits on the pad. But a man's dream goes up in smoke. Lady, if you're half reported, I think you are. You don't need to destroy a career to make one. Your left, Tony. How scared do you think John Glenn was during re-entry, not knowing if his heat shield would hold up or not? He didn't let his fear stop him from doing what he needed to do. It was all up to him, and he did it. We can do this. Just a couple steps. Now just reach towards me, okay? Slowly, step at a time. Just watch my hand, okay? You're all right, you're all right. Come on, man. You're almost there. Right here, concentrate on me, okay? Right here. You can do it. Step by step. You can do this. Tony. Come on, man. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. All right, slowly. All right, you're doing good.
Okay, now, we just have to make our way back to these stairs. Well, actually, there's the ladder down there. It's a little easier. Eckert. I got him. Great, Peter, where are you? All right, keep him with you. Don't let him out of your sight. And Peter, don't talk to anyone. All right. We got him. Tell me. Hold on. Yeah, Bull Ecker, could you get me the launch director, please? Peter found him up on the old Mercury gantry. Yeah, Jim, it's Bull. We got the kid. You can release the hold. Yeah, drinks are on me. <sighs> Thought you told him to stay home. Yeah, well, thank God he didn't listen. What's gonna happen to Peter? I guess that's up to the reporter. Come on. <sighs> Those were prepared for when we reach orbit. to reset. Roger that. Okay, five, four, three, two. We're back here at Kennedy Space Center where the countdown for the launch of Columbia has resumed. Emily, is there any word as to the cause of the extended hold that delayed our launch for so long? As a matter of fact, Steve, after intensive investigation, We have no confirmed explanation from space agency officials regarding the cause of that lengthy hold. But given the complexity of launching operations and the myriad pieces of puzzle that go into a successful launch, the causes could be many. Wouldn't you agree, Steve? Absolutely. Uh, it really is a testament to the dedication of the men and women here in the kitchen. I think I'm going to like her. Bid all our viewers a fond farewell. For the final time, this is Steve Norton. Live from the Cape, Roger, Roger and Al.
after a Sunday, my boss will be me. Sunday, I will meet the man of my dreams. Guess not today. The Chevy Camaro's 200 horsepower, 3800 V6. Therapeutic, isn't it? The Fresh Maker. Phew, that foot odor. I can't take it anymore. But can anything stop it? This will. Odor Eater's insoles. Now its powerful charcoal formula contains genuine Arm & Hammer baking soda. Look, foot odor is caused by sweaty acid. And now Odor Eater's actually neutralizes that odor-causing acid. Finally, no more foot odor. And I thought it was hopeless. Only Odor Eater's insoles stop foot odor with genuine Arm & Hammer baking soda. When you just gotta have a drink, you just gotta have a drink, see? The last thing you wanna do is wait for a concentrate to defrost. That's why Welch's made this kind of concentrate. Juice Makers. It comes in a can, but it's not frozen, see? You just pop, pour, Add some water, and then you're done. It's in the bottle juice section. Just pull one out, and the others just roll right down. There's no other drink that's simpler than that. The Cape is brought to you in part by Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. I heard about this car that's supposed to be safe for you and your kids, but it's so expensive you probably couldn't afford to have kids and that car at the same time. How about a Chevrolet Cavalier? It comes with a safety cage, dual airbags, even standard anti-lock brakes. So for around $12,000, you really can get everything you want in a safe car, including kids. Who decided that only people who can afford expensive cars should be safe? Get the car that's easy to own, a Cavalier. Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. I use Tylenol. I do. For back aches, fever, lots of things. But for headaches, I found something better. Excedrin. You don't have to listen to me. There's medical research that proves Excedrin relieves headaches better. So, I mean, I'm still going to use Tylenol for some stuff. But if Excedrin's better for headaches, I'm going to use Excedrin for headaches. Excedrin, the headache medicine, also available in gel tabs. Next time on The Cape. Why the hell didn't you tell me before? Tell you what? That I had a son. Jack's past catches up with him. He's a good kid. Smart. Now, an astronaut who dreams of shooting to the stars. Atlantis Control, we are going for launch. Roger Control, go for launch. Finds his heart firmly on the ground. Ah! Next time on The Cape. There's something about an Eggo waffle that sticks with you. The warm toastiness. The reassurance of seven vitamins and iron. Nice to have in a morning like this. It's cold out there. Don't let them go without an Eggo. After a day's work, some people can spend their evenings alone, but not you. Want to find your dream date? There is a way to talk to hundreds of local singles who are into the same things you are. Private Lines is an incredibly easy... Nation, contact your health care provider or the March of Dimes. For more local traffic, weather, and news, watch 12 This Morning, weekdays at 5.30.
this will be the third shuttle mission NASA has launched this year. The flight is commanded by Colonel Sam Thank L. Blake. Well, sure has his happy-go-lucky game face on today, does he? As is that of pilot Jack Ryle. Does he have another kind? <laughs> no spacewalks are scheduled for this 10-day flight, the sixth shuttle flight this year, and the second for Columbia, the fleet's oldest orbiter. Uncle Norton's retiring. Yeah, I heard that. 20 years with the Cape. Actually, I think it's more like 25. I remember him doing the Skylight missions when I was a kid. He always just end his broadcast with... This is Steve Norton, Norton from the Cape. Cape. Roger and out. Now, I'm sure most of you know that Alan Shepard was the first American to launch into space. Well, that was 35 years ago. And this... Wow. ...was the launch and mission control center where they sent him up from. Now, Shepard had a smooth flight, but the next guy wasn't so lucky. When Gus Grissom's Liberty Bell 7 splashed down into the ocean, the impact caused a leak in the capsule. Well, Gus was able to swim to safety, but they lost the capsule. It wasn't a leak. What was that? It wasn't a leak. The explosive bolt on the emergency hatch blew open. <laughs> I stand corrected. Um, you're right, it was the emergency hatch. Now, after Mercury, NASA began the two-man Gemini program. Now, remember the Titan II missile we saw at the visitor center today? Well, NASA began using Titans for Gemini because the Atlas rocket, which was used for all the Mercury missions, just, it just didn't have the kind of power they needed. They didn't use Atlas for all the Mercury missions, just the orbital ones. They used redstones to get the first guys up. You're an astronaut candidate? That's right. NASA sure has lowered its standards. <laughs> <laughs> 